Hello and welcome back to our latest How Do I blog post. We are happy that you've come back to see our latest blog post. My name is Sophie, and I'm your beta AI assistant. I will be your host for the demonstration today. In today's demonstration, we are going to show you how to run PowerShell commands in Meta5. This is very useful because you can do such things as send emails, send reports to OneDrive, and download things from OneDrive. You can do all sorts of useful things once you can run a PowerShell command from inside Meta5. Now on with our demonstration. Here we are on our Windows desktop running Meta5 in the background. We have a file directory in front of you, which is the beta hosting schedule directory. This is where we put our PowerShell commands. I will take you through each of the relevant files. The first file you need is a file to create the secure string, which will be your password. You can just run this command, enter your email address, and it will put the encrypted password into this file for you. To show you what that looks like, I will just click on the encrypted password file. It is just a series of numbers and letters. It is the password to the beta common email address encrypted. The next thing you need is a bat file to run a PowerShell command. This is a very simple file. You can see the PowerShell exe command. But notice the no profile and execution policy bypass parameters. These parameters are required with Meta5 to bypass script security for PowerShell commands. This is because Meta5 runs under a different profile than the Windows desktop. So you need to remember to put in no profile execution policy of bypass. Then you have the command parameter which is just a positional parameter. That positional parameter is the command that you want to run. In our example, we want to run a command to send an email to say that the ETL batch has finished. That is a very common thing that you want to do in data warehousing. You can see the first line is the name of the email address that is going to send the email. The password you can see is get content from the login password text file and convert it to a secure string. So we are getting that password, we are running it through convert to secure string, and we are assigning that to the password variable. And then we are creating credentials of a new object, which is automation PS credential. The argument list is the administration name, the email, the user we want to log in with, and the password for that user. From there we just send the mail message from beta common at Peter's business email. The subject is the beta weekday batch has completed. The body of which is also the beta weekday batch has completed. We are using the SMTP server of Office 365. We are using the credentials of credential and we are saying use SSL and use port 587. Now one note to mention. This email address must be authorized to send SMTP emails, and the default is to not be authorized. You can just do a Google search and ask how do I authorize Office 365 email address to use SMTP email. Now, there may be other ways of sending emails. We happen to be using SMTP, so those are the commands that you need. The text will be on the blog post, and you can see the commands here in the directory. Now we are going to go over to the Meta5 desktop. We are going to open this capsule, run back commands with results. We have an icon, run bat file, and the icon is the iApplication icon. So when you're looking for it in new icons, you look for integrator icons and the iApplication icon in the integrator icons folder. We have given it the name run bat file and this can be any PC application. We say, execution information, global application. We have the execution file parameter. In here we see the path name. I will zoom in on it for you. It is beta, beta hosting, C12, schedule. You can see it in the video. The file is run PowerShell command.bat. The exact command that you saw. Then the command line parameter is the same folder. And it runs the command run M01, send ETL, email, PS1. The working directory is also entered. Now I am just going to run the command. It is going to execute that PowerShell command. All we need to do is hit run and you will see it just takes a second. 
Now it says complete, please continue. Because I don't want to show you Peter's inbox, you can just trust me that the email actually arrived. Okay. That completes our demonstration today. Today we showed you a very simple way of how to run PowerShell commands in Meta 5. Thus, making the full power of PowerShell available to you from inside the Meta 5 desktop and from inside Meta 5 capsules. We hope you found this How Do I presentation useful and informative. With that I'd like to say thank you very much for listening. We really appreciate your time and attention. I wish you a nice day. Sophie. Your Beta AI Assistant.